everyone, how are you? Year six, I missed you so much. Uh, in this uh, video today, I want to give you some um, extra work uh, to be done during the holiday. You can practice it. And just for your information, we're going to do the same thing as soon as we get back to school. So since you're at home, you can practice this uh, worksheet. You can download it from below in the description below. Please download the worksheet to print it and uh, be able to work it out. So first of all, you're going to type the table using Excel. Make sure you use the same cells as shown in the table. So this is the table starting with A, B, C. We're going to stop at F. 1, 2, 3, until 14. So first, only copy this table. Copy only. And then we will go one by one here to follow the instructions. So you open Excel. Open a blank one. And start typing. Okay, now here, as you can see, when you type over these cells, Guys, girls, make sure you just make the words fit into the cells. How do we make it? Go up into the column, adjust the column until it fits the words. So as you can see, we can make it fit like this. Okay, guys, when you reach to the price, don't enter this. We will make it using formula. So as soon as we reach the totals, I will show you how to make this part. Now continue the discount, and we will start with the formatting. When you finish filling out these, you're going to start to uh, make the equation here for the price. First of all, you start with equal, click on the cell, it's equal to the price times the quantity. Press enter and you will get it. In order to get all of these, you have to move the mouse to this corner, bottom right to the cell, click and drag down. And then all of your information will be uh, done. Look at the formula here. They do the formula for you. The Excel helps you do the formula quickly. All right. Now, let's make sure the totals are correct. 36, 99, 19, 44. Okay. Now the final price. We have a discount of 1.82. So this will be the total, 2.4. So we're going to put this price minus the discount. So it's going to be like this. Equal the price minus this. Enter. Let's make sure it's totally correct. So click and drag. And you will get all the information. Make sure you copy correctly. If you have a mistake in your copying, your totals will have mistakes too. So here, we're going to make the total sum, right? Let's check. It has to be 113.94. So we're going to make the total auto sum. Press enter. Correct. Total. 14 items, yes, 100, let's press the total, enter, no, see this is a mistake, it's only this, total, no, total discount, correct, and the total here, Click and drag, okay guys? Click and drag. Press enter after you finish. <clears throat> no, ignore error. We don't need it. We just need this. Now let's start with formatting our table. 
format the font size okay and the colors let's see this is big red and the font the bottom here is bold so we're going to make this red and big All right we can merge the cells on top like this all right here we have a line under it. I'm going to use them all to be bigger than 11, 14. Let's format everything here. Double click, double click, double click. So everything fits the cells. As you can see here, there is a line, a thick line underneath thick bottom yes what about this so all of this has only outside border only outside border and each one What's the color? Blue and orange. Okay, so this is it. As simple as this. Now I can copy format, make it again here. See? Look how easy is that? Copy format. I want it all to have no borders and then outside borders only. Now this one has to be yellow and bold. Okay, fine. We've done the formatting. Format all the numbers except the quantity ordered column to show. All right, we want the euro sign. So, how do we do that? We have to highlight and go to currency. Where's the euro sign? Euro or English United Kingdom? This is it. So, Highlight. Okay. Oops. No. Yes. See, the zeros were not there. Now, once you use the currency, the zero will appear. All right. Did you notice? So, again. No, no. Just don't make. Okay. Done. What else we need to do? We changed the column width already. Line up the column titles with the numbers on the right. So the numbers should be on the right side, except the order in the uh, uh, quantity order in the middle. So this one, center. And these ones, right side, right side, although it doesn't show very well here, no problem. And then center everything, okay, done it. Add borders, we already added, shadings as desired, okay, we did it the same. So I hope you practice this at home, guys. Don't forget, uh, if you print out the paper, please bring it to school once we start resume going to school in order to practice it together. And if you have any question, you can ask by that time. Thank you very much.
Please like.